Hello class, I decided to record two more videos uh, today, so tomorrow we only gonna have two cover 74, 84, and 88, and they're very detailed. So let's quickly answer uh, problem 70. Uh, I says using the following information to answer the next three exercises, which I just have assigned 70 and 72. 71 is in the book for you. Uh, all the uh, uh, numbers, they have the solutions in the book. It says the length of time it takes to find a parking space at 9 in the, mor in the morning follows a normal distribution, so we know that's our curve, um, with a mean of 5 minutes. So put, let's put it here so you can see it. Um, with a mean uh, of 5 minutes and a standard deviation of, actually my insert right here, and a standard deviation of uh, two minutes, okay? And it says based upon to, uh, the given information and numerically justify, would you be surprised if it took less than one minute to find a parking space? Well, your mean is five, okay? Um, your standard deviation let me get right here. Okay, so it's telling you that your mean right here, let's put it right here, it's five, right in the middle, and your standard deviation uh, is two. So if you calculate the intervals for one standard deviation, two standard deviation, three standard deviation, which would be your normal distribution. So you would say that 68% um, 68.27% or one standard devi uh, deviation uh, from the mean is equals to your mean plus for the positive side, one times two, your standard deviation, correct? And then if you do below, Actually, let's put on this side. Let's put the positive on this side and negative on this side. And then we go the mean minus one times your standard deviation, okay? Here we go. I'm actually gonna do uh, better. I'm gonna do the cells and I'm gonna freeze them. So um, I can just uh, copy these formulas and carry it down. I'm going to do the cell and I'm going to freeze it with the uh, key F4 and then for my standard deviation, same thing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this down. So I just have to do minus uh, two standard deviations. Oops, not 32. We could, but we don't, we're not looking for that. And then we're doing um, two, and then right here for the last one, you're gonna do a three standard deviations and a three standard deviations. So your values right here would be a minus one. Um, for two, you would be a one, and for one, it would be a three, and over here for one would be a, uh, let me merge this, so, and make it in the middle. So it would be a seven, over here would be a nine, and then four, three would be a 11. And we could keep going for four, uh, so, but we don't need that. I just wanna show when they say, based upon, upon the given information in America, just five. Okay, so here I am. Here's what I expect to see, 68%, 68.27% of my uh, distribution, I'm expecting to follow between three and seven, uh, or you could do this if it was a uh, interval. And then you're expecting 95.44% to fall between one and nine. And then I'm expecting a 99.72% uh, falls between a minus one, a negative one and 11. Okay, so if you look, if you know that my average is a five and I have a standard deviation of two minutes, 
Okay, so if I would just do one standard deviation, really my average to find a parking space is five minutes, and I'm, I'm expecting something between three and seven, let's say, to find a parking space. Or even if I push a little further, a one and nine minutes to find a parking space. But here I'm really pushing. I'm already at three standard deviations from my mean. So then I have a negative amount and an 11. Those are my extremes almost. And then we could go with the outlier, which I don't need to do that. But the question is, would you be surprised if it took less than one minute? Oh, yes, I sure would. Because I'm expecting the most of my uh, minutes to be in this area right here between three and seven. If I go anything to my extreme, yes, I would be surprised because that's three standard deviations from my mean. So that would be your answer, yes. And that's how you would just find numerically. Uh, I want to give you all the details. And now we're going to do 72, which I put this bell curve here, uh, which is exactly the same thing you see here, but even more divided. See, uh, let me put it right here so you can see what I'm saying. Of course, I'm going to make it smaller. Put it over here. Okay, do you see right here how it says between 0 and 1 standard deviation and minus 1 standard deviation is 34? Now they're dividing for you in half. So they're doing half standard deviation, 1, 1 and half standard deviation, um, and, and so forth and so on. Okay, so why did I put uh, this bell curve here? Well, this question, we're still following the five minutes for uh, the mean and two for the standard deviation. So I copy my mean and my standard deviation. Okay, it says 70% of the time, it takes more than how many minutes to find a parking space? Well, now I'm not big, I'm not, uh, I wasn't giving a Z score. I'm giving a percentage. I'm giving, I was giving the mean, I was giving the standard deviation, and I'm giving a percentage. If you do go to your uh, Z table and you remember what I told you, uh, these are your Z scores and these are your percentages. So you're going to do the other way around. You're still going to be using uh, the formula, this formula to answer 72, but you're just going to have to turn things the other way around, and I'm going to show you. Well, right here, 70% of the time, if you look at here, 70%, so this is 50%, right? And then 20% more is about here. You would expect to find a value of Z-score about half, okay? Or, or 70% is going to be right here, so you should find a z-score about half. If you don't, it's probably incorrect. That's why I put this here to show you the details. We know that this half right here is 50%, and then if we look at this, how they split our uh, 68 now in four parts, this part here is about 20%, so half. What I mean by that? Okay. Right here, 70% of the time. Let's go back to the uh, z-table. So now I'm going to be looking for percents. I'm not going to be percentage. I'm not going to be looking for z-score. So where is 70% in here? Well, there it is. We have, remember I said half, about half of your z-score. So here is 0.6915. Can we get any closer to 70%? Well, 0.6950. Right here, 0.6985. Well, we could use a value of 0 0.52, 0 0.5 combining with 0 0.02. We could use a value, a z-score value of 0 0.52 to solve this problem. But I want to be even more precise. So I'm going to actually average these two values right here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm averaging now the 6985, so equals 0.6985. 85, are you following me right here? With the 0.7019. So plus, I'm average then. And then now I'm going to divide then by 2. 
I could just do it on average, but I want to show you the whole calculation from the beginning. There we go. That's very close to our 70%, isn't it? So I know that the average is between these two. So I could um, safely say that my Z-score could be a 0.525. Because I want to be uh, as precise as I can. So a 0.525. Because I'm got, I got the value in between these two. Okay? So... Let's go back here. So we figure that our Z score is a 0.525, right? We know that our mean is five, and we know that our standard deviation is two, and then you have this formula right here. Well, in this case, we can solve for X, which will be algebra. So we're gonna do a 0 0.525, right? And then we're going to do equals to x minus 5, your mean. And this is going to be divided by your standard deviation. Okay. So, put it like this. Okay. I'm just put the z value. I repeated the x minus my mean divided by my standard deviation. I'm going to do uh, 0 0.25 uh, times 2 equals 2x minus 5. And then I'm doing 105 plus 5. I'm carrying this 5 over here. So negative becomes positive equals to x. So 70% of the time it takes more than how many minutes to find a parking space. So 70% of the time it takes more than 6.05 or 6% or 6 minutes. It takes more than 6 minutes to find a parking space. So equals 6. So equals um, 6 minutes. And that would be problem 72. And tomorrow I plan to do the other three problems. Thank you.